Hey everyone, Flash here, and in today's video, we will be checking out an insane project with some pretty great use cases. You may have to check till this end of the video to see why. They have a pretty lovely website distributed cloud infrastructure for gaming and AI. You guys should already know about the project, it has been on the market for the uh, last couple of years, and they already have more than 200,000 users with 10 game studios and 23 node locations. They are backed by the best, so here are just some of the brands, so Get.io, Bybit, just to name a few. We are Aether, and we build decentralized cloud infrastructure for gaming and AI. The AI and gaming landscapes are evolving exponentially, demanding cloud resources at an unprecedented rate and scale. But the challenge of satisfying this global appetite isn't just about capacity. The cloud, like traditional infrastructure, serves diverse, evolving needs but is slow and costly to adapt. AI apps like ChatGPT have strained cloud infrastructure with rapid user growth, hinting at bigger challenges ahead. The gaming industry has a similar issue of scale. Billions of gamers interact with the cloud every day, and like the AI sector, their cloud requirements are shifting. The future of online experiences has always been real-time. From DVDs to Netflix, from HDDs to online file storage, it's happened over and over again. But we're reaching current infrastructure limits, and things are starting to get complicated. Today's text-based ChatGPT will evolve into voice and video AI. The challenge is scaling it. Similarly, game developers are looking to the cloud to unlock access to the 2.8 billion gamers stuck on low-end devices. It isn't a matter of whether these gamers come online, it's simply a matter of when. Today's cloud infrastructure makes scaling latency-sensitive applications like AI digital avatars or cloud gaming instances cost-prohibitive. In a microsecond-critical era, lag causes churn. Even giants like Google and NVIDIA struggle with scalable cloud gaming. Enter Aether and our decentralized cloud infrastructure. Our ethos is simple. Cloud scalability is an infrastructure problem, not a business model problem. And if the world wants to keep up with global demand, its infrastructure needs to evolve fast. Our magic? We're decentralized. We're not bound by traditional resource ownership or supply chain constraints, nor do we bear the overheads or deal with dormant, pricey equipment. Instead, our network thrives on a low capital expansion model. We expand like a swarm, with small independent nodes offering local, highly efficient, low latency solutions. This gives us an edge. We exist where our customers do, offering services at a fraction of the cost. We're the ideal global solution because we aren't really global at all. Aether is building infrastructure that will ensure global access and scalability for the two most cloud-intensive industries on the planet, and we're only just getting started. Aether, decentralized cloud infrastructure for gaming and AI. Something pretty interesting, so game publishing, gaming cloud, the cloud-based porting, this is a cost-efficient game porting, transition graphically intensive games to the cloud, bypassing costly development and backwards compatibility. They also offer effortless early access for pre-sale testing and you can use their cloud hosted instances to identify issues, gather feedback and also build exciting. They also do have cross-platform experiences so you can generate instant cross-platform experiences using their cloud without any additional development. You can test your game in new markets and drive player engagement. And they also do have alternate publishing channels so you can distribute your game to users without any red tape. Share links to download free instant play experiences that avoid challenging platform requirements and all types of fees. So it's amazing. For the artificial intelligence, you do have latency-free interference, so achieve real-time processing without delays in your AI application, ensuring instant interactions and responsiveness. They also do have the AI voice interaction. This is basically power voice AI with instant voice to text and text to voice conversations and conversions, ensuring smooth, lag free communication. And they also have AI vision interaction, so skill responsiveness, latency free digital AI avatars via their cloud. You can click on unlock pricing right here, and it's basically gonna give you a form 
for the partnership you guys just have to fill it in if you guys are interested in that discover a world free from hardware limitations it's built for everyone breaking the hardware barrier it is also a shared success low latency premium compute and no more gatekeeping they have an awesome roadmap in 2021 they have published inaugural the white paper in 2022 achieved the first triple a blockchain game integration launched 21 globally distributed nodes at the author highest to advisory board and secured seed funding in 2023 they secured pre-a funding launched the testnet that is private at the moment and pc and mobile demo platform launch and for 2024 they have in store token generation event launch the public gaming platform and onboard 1 million gamers to the infrastructure which is crazy by the way we do have the testnet cloud gaming worker guide so if you guys are interested i will leave this link down in the description with all their advantages their technology, their quick start guide, and also the operation guide, how you can set it up, a counter distribution, game management, their list of games, how you can add a game, and all the necessary, necessary information. I'll leave all the links down in the description with social medias, Twitter, Discord, Telegram, and also YouTube channel. I highly suggest you guys going and giving them a follow on Twitter as they are pretty active right here and they share all the updates that are happening. So just give them a follow and click on this little bell to be notified whenever they post something. If you are interested in the, their use cases and also please subscribe, leave a like and comment what you think about the project and if you want more videos on it.